organizational design. We all know that the process of developing an organization structure is sometimes referred to as organizational design. In this lesson, we will define organizational design, explain the different factors affecting the organizational design, describe the forces reshaping the organizations, and discuss the Perot's and Thompson's contribution. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain factors influencing the organizational design, key processes of organizational design, five structural configuration, why do structures differ, and forces reshaping organization. Organization design is the process of constructing and adjusting an organization's structures to achieve its goal. Henry Mintzberg identifies two dimensions on which effective structure depends on regulation and sophistication. Regulation refers to the extent to which machinery and equipment control the employee's work. Mintzberg suggests that a more regulating technology calls for a more mechanistic structure. Sophistication describes the complexity or intricacy of the technology. Contingency factors affecting organization structure. First, technology. It is the knowledge, tools, equipment and work techniques used by an organization in delivering its product or service. Second is technological interdependence. It is the degree to which different parts of organization must exchange information and materials in order to perform the required activities. Third is size. Size effects on structure. As organizations grow, they are likely to add more departments and levels, making their structures increasingly complex. Fourth is environment. Firms have different characteristics depending on whether they operate in a stable environment or an unstable environment. Integration is the design process of linking the task together to form a structure that supports goal accomplishment. Differentiation and integration are the key design processes. An organizational structure helps a person understand the larger working environment and may prevent confusion in the organization. Differentiation is the process of deciding how to divide the work in an organization. Differentiation ensures that all essential organizational tasks are assigned to one or more jobs and that tasks receive the attention they need. Time orientation, manager's goal orientation, interpersonal orientation, and formality of structure are the four dimensions of differentiation. Integration is the process of coordinating the different parts of an organization. Integration helps keep the organization in a state of dynamic equilibrium, a condition in which all the parts of the organization are interrelated and balanced. Vertical linkages are used to integrate activities up and down the organizational chain of command. This includes hierarchical referral, rules and procedures, positions added to structure of the organization, and management information systems. The simple structure is an organization with little technical and support staff. S strong centralization of decision making by top management and a minimal middle level. Machine bureaucracies tend to fit best in situations in which the organization is large. The technology involves large batch and mass production and the organization operates in a simple and stable environment. The professional Bureaucracy emphasizes the expertise of the professionals in the operating core of the organization. The divisionalized form is a loosely coupled composite structural configuration. It is a configuration composed of divisions, each of which may have its own structural configuration. The adocracy is a highly organic rather than mechanistic configuration with minimal formalization and order. It is designed to fuse interdisciplinary experts into smoothly functioning ad hoc project teams. The basic design dimensions and the resulting structural configurations play out in the context of the organization's internal and external environments. An organization's technology is an important contextual variable in determining the organization's structure. Perot proposed a scheme based on two variables 
task variability and problem analyzability. First is task variability. It considers the number of exceptions encountered in doing the task within a job. Second is problem analyzability. It examines the type of search procedures followed to find ways to respond to task exceptions. Four structural elements are the amount of discretion that an individual can exercise to complete a task, the power of groups to control the unit's goals and strategies, the extent to which organizational units coordinate work using either feedback or planning, and the level of interdependence among groups. Thompson's view is based on the concept of technological interdependence and the pattern of an organization's workflow. The next contextual variability of organizational design is environment. An organization's environment is composed of those institutions or forces that are outside the organization and potentially affects the organization's performance. Some organizations face relatively static environments. Few forces in their environments are changing. Other organizations face very dynamic environments, rapidly changing forces in their environments. Static environments create significantly less uncertainty for managers than do dynamic ones. Strategy and goals is the contextual variable that influences how the design dimensions of structure should be enacted in the strategies and goals of the organization. An organization's structure is a means to help management achieve its objectives. Forces for reshaping organization are First is shorter life cycles within organizations. Organizations are dynamic entities. They have a life cycle that begins at birth, moves through growth and maturity to decline. Organizational subunits may have very similar life cycles. Second is globalization. The global structure must allow decisions to be made in the most appropriate area of the organization. However, controls must be in place that reflects the strategies and goals of the parent firm. Third is changes in information processing technologies. These have allowed organizations to move into new product and market areas more quickly. The main strategies are, first is, Niche differentiation. The aim of this strategy is to distinguish one's products and services from those of competitors for a narrow target market. Second is cost leadership. This strategy emphasizes organizational efficiency so that products and services can be offered at prices lower than those of competitors. Third is innovative differentiation. The aim of this strategy is to distinguish one's products and services from those of competitors. Fourth is market differentiation. This is a strategy aimed at distinguishing one's product and services from those of competitors through advertising, prestige pricing and market segmentation. Organizations are complex social structures composed of numerous interrelated components. People can work better in organizations if they understand how their jobs and departments relate to other jobs in the organization. If you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly, organization design is the process of constructing and adjusting an organization structure to achieve its goals. Right or wrong? Right. Effective organizational structures buffer or protect the technology from environmental influences or disturbances. Right or wrong? Right. Sophistication refers to the extent to which machinery and equipment control the employee's work. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Organizational design must respond to the complexities created by new technologies. Differentiation is the design process of breaking the organizational goals into tasks. Integration is the design process of linking the tasks together to form a structure that supports goal accomplishment. These two processes are the key design processes and organizational structure helps a person understand the larger working environment and may prevent confusion in the organization. 
Building on the research about how contingency factors affect structure, Henry Minsberg has developed five common structural configurations. Different structural configurations place unique demands on the people who work within them. Regulation refers to the extent to which machinery and equipment control the employee's work. Sophistication describes the complexity or intricacy of the technology. The adequacy is highly organic rather than mechanistic configuration with minimal formalization and order.